What is up? I think we're live. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another to GG Entertainment Inc. Yes, that's what it is. GG Entertainment, uh, programming entertainment, a programming prodigy. Because I have no clue how to name my titles anymore for streaming. Um, we're gonna switch things up actually in the stream. We're gonna we're gonna do some stuff, which I'm also going to make a video of for YouTube, and then we're gonna do some reaction. A reaction video which I'm also gonna make a video of and I need to be careful because uh, my desk is statically charged so hard <clears throat> for some reason um, it's annoying each time I touch something I, I get electric shocks it's amazing it's also annoying um, <clears throat> Press enter. All right. Let me see if uh, I can spot some uh, some people in here. Is everything? Where is the chat working? Actually, to be honest, one, two, three tests. It is a little bit of a, a delay. Wait, what's going on here actually with this chat? Uh, My chat is borked. Ayush Biswas, what is up? Welcome here today. Um, I'm thinking actually, to be honest, I, I, I'm forgetting a lot of stuff. Is that true? I'm not quite sure. Let me see if I can electrically start, but elect electricity shocked, electrically shocked by my by my microphone. Huh. No, it isn't. It's good. Um, Anthony Enila. From Kenya, your work is life changing. Keep up. Namesake. I will, man. I won't stop. Can't stop. Never stop. VS Code in the row. Teddy! Alright, so what are we doing today, basically? Um, before I'm gonna press record, because I'm also gonna record and, and, st uh, and stuff on the stream. Um, so we're gonna see how this works out. We are basically building a crypto indicator in Golang. And I basically refactored a little bit. Um, the order book of stream because I don't wanna I don't wanna spend too much time on it and it basically what it can do right now is um, what's going on I have the feeling today we're gonna have some technical issues I don't know why but we will uh, terminal UI yes that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna make a new one we're gonna make uh, we're gonna get a new library to build much more beautiful UIs uh, basically someone from the community in the discord showed him uh, showed me his ui and it was basically much better and i'm jealous and i want to have the same um go run let me see what's going on here right what's going on let me just a sec guys because please. yeah so basically this is the ui uh, what we have right now we have um the price my dog is barking somebody it's so annoying man it's in the middle of the day and I've, and and it could be somebody at my door that so much things can happen it's it's so fucking annoying um because they think oh anthony is always home he's always home let's go no leave me get the fuck out of here don't i'm always busy leave me alone uh, can you actually hear this dog barking by the way it's fine Right, so we have this order book here, and now you can see, actually I'm a little bit, um, my, my camera is a little bit in the way, but it is what it is. So you can see the bits and the asks, and we have still a problem here. Uh, we're gonna fix that. What up, Lazar, what up? Um, yeah, that's what it is. Let's press escape. What's going on here real quick with this order book once again? This order book. Um, and now we're gonna basically grab a new library to make a new actually i'm gonna show you which one it is to be honest uh it's going to be this one it's the term ui right we're gonna build something i don't know we will see we will see we will see how it's gonna turn out and then we're gonna do a reaction video i need to play the game i need to play the game guys it is what it is um god damn it today so it's 
<laughs> pitbull, it's a beagle. <laughs> it's not a pitbull, it's a beagle. He's, you can break in my house, it's not gonna happen. Uh, let me see. Ah, okay, it's fine. Um, first of all, I wanna fix this. I think the problem is gonna be... Um, I don't know what the problem is gonna be. Maybe the volume is so low. 4F. 4F. Maybe that's a thing. <clears throat> alright, 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 alright. Uh, let me see what's going on. No, it isn't, right? It's still zero. I have no clue why that is. Maybe this condition f doesn't matter. It's burked. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, investigate the issue real quick. Um, it was working on my machine before the stream, man. I swear to God, guys. I swear to God. Who is the prodigy? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. Maybe he's coming. Maybe he's on the stream. Maybe it's a guest. I have no clue. Uh, add bit, at ask price volume. Should we actually log this book? <laughs> this is a sorting thing. Actually, to be honest, what you could do... Let me, let me do it again. I want to do it again. Sometimes I want to do it again. Typical in my, in my machine it worked. Yeah, guys, it worked. I swear to God, on my machine it worked. What is going on here? We're going to zero. God damn it. Because I'm doing some nasty stuff, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, sort these entries. So, what if we do uh, delete this thing, actually, to be honest, right? So, let's do... Because that was the last thing I added, actually, to be honest. Sort, sort, entries, and then land, yada, yada. Okay, cool. So, I'm gonna do this. Comment that out. Return the entries. And truce. Let's see. Ah. Wait, 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 something is going on here. The depth is for the catching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to do this thing, actually. Let's copy this. Paste that in. Uh, because if the entries is bigger, if it's, um, if it's, if it's smaller than the depth we want to show, we're going to, we're just going to show the entries we have. That's what we're going to do. Will you open source? It's open source already. It's open source already. Um, it's already on GitHub. Link in the description. Bits are fucked. Can't see the terminal. Um, what's going on here, guys? Come on. It's Best bit, yada yada. Then we do all the range, we set the entry. We sort these entries. And... So I'm checking the bit. Yada yada, delete. It's not protected, right? So it could be... Wait, what we also could do is um, something like that is very nasty. Actually, nasty. It's not nasty. It's just I don't know. It 
a desperation. It's a desperation move, and I actually don't want to... It's fine, now it's working pretty fine, right? It looks good to me. I'm gonna keep it running for a little bit because we had this uh, weird issue with the WebSocket thing. It probably... But it's a Binance uh, API, so <laughs> what did you expect? Um, finally, Vincenzo Trapani. Finally, first time catching... Uh, you see, we have the errors. First time catching a live stream, but I'm going to the gym. Oh my god, the gym always has priority. Always, guys. Go, go pump up these muscles. Go pump up. What's going on? I cannot even read this thing because I'm, I'm stuck in a scrolling thingy. Look at this. Um, polyvent. It's the polyvent thing. Oh, it's probably... I don't know. I think I know what it is. Um... It doesn't actually matter what it is. We will see what it is. It's probably... Um... And the font is so huge, man. Look at this font size, especially for you guys. Um... Each three seconds, because remember the one second was not working in the previous stream. Remember that. Where is my fucking main heat? Okay, cool. Um, so we're making this channel heat. Where is this channel? Heat. It's fine. It's all fine, guys. All right, so what we're gonna do, without any further ado, uh, because we're gonna swap this code out anyway. So I'm gonna st uh, press start recording and hopefully I'm still here within 10 seconds. I am still you guys, I was just joking, just joking. Anyway, so it's working fine. <coughs> so we are recording. Um, <coughs> big cough. So, yes. Basically, the UI we have right now is something we're going to replace, right? So let me show the UI once again before we're going to say goodbye to that UI forever. Uh, so we're going to say go run dot, a new trick I learned after so many years. So we have this beautiful UI. Actually, in the middle, there is going to be some kind of an indicator we're going to draw. And we have an order book on the other side of left. And then we have a price that's basically dynamically uh, going green and red. Um, that's the market price, right? And we're going to quickly exit before the error pops up. Boom. So we're going to change that to a beautiful UI. And what are we going to use? We are going to use this bad boy here. Term UI, right? Um, yeah, it is what it is. That's what we're going to use. How is it going to work? I have no clue. And we're going to find that out right now. The first thing uh, I'm going to do is copy pasterino some stuff in. Go. Get. Actually, I'm going to reboot VS Code also, to be honest, so I have my cursor back. Uh, oh, I have a good idea, by the way. Let's paste that in first. Let's get this thing. Boom. Then I'm going to do this. Kill terminal. He's gone. And then boot him up again, and I have my cursor back. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, <clears throat> so it's installed. That's fine. But before we're gonna do that, because um, if we take a look at this, uh, you see UI here, V3 here. So I think we need to prefix this. So I'm gonna copy this, copy. And I'm gonna paste that in. Peak, <laughs> where it's paste, here. <laughs> All right, fine. The first thing we're gonna do is back to main here. Um, God damn it, so a huge font, it's, it's insane. But I take this one for the team. Uh, so we do turn box in it here and all that shenanigans. The question rather is, do we still need that? So I'm gonna open up this thing, put it on my other screen so I can basically peek what's going on and you guys will see uh, how it actually works, right? And I will put all the links in the description. So the first thing we're gonna do is an if r is going to be uh, this, just the same thing, like turnbox, we're gonna init that stuff. I think it's using, it uses turnbox under the hood, right? We're gonna say UI, init, uh, and I'm gonna check the error. If that's not nil, uh, we are going to lock fatal this error. 
We're gonna delete this. Connection, all good, all good. We need to do a D30Y close, but it doesn't really matter because we're in our own main loop. Um, then we can do something like P. Actually, we're gonna call this... Um, Ticker, ticker paragraph. <clears throat> we're gonna call, actually, to be honest, we're gonna do this. <clears throat> paragraph ticker. Paragraph ticker is going to be widgets. Uh, what's going on, man? This font. I'm gonna maybe lower the font because uh, I'm getting a uh, new paragraph. New paragraph like this is a function. And then we're gonna say p ticker. Uh, it's actually easy to use. We're gonna say p ticker text. And that's going to be, um, I don't know, we're using Binance. Binance F from futures and we are using BDC USDT <coughs> and then we need to set a rect P ticker set a rectangle will basically be um, can we do it like that yes so we're gonna do the starting point zero zero which is in the corner in the corner and then we need to have a width and a height we need to gamble this uh, 10 3 Let's copy this uh, bad boy over to, this is his function, yada yada, and here we're drawing these things, is running, event, paste that in here, delete the event, delete this go funk, delete the whole funk. Is running is true, that's fine, for is running, a little, a little drawing loop here, for is running like that, <coughs> and then, we're gonna say time sleep, Time second millisecond times 16 for 60 frames, but maybe we're gonna say 20 because no clue. But first of all, let me see. Stream still up? It is still up. So uh, the next thing we're gonna do is basically call. Um, let me see what they say. UI render. UI render. And the only thing we need to uh, specify here is P ticker, right? Uh, P-Ticker, of course, we're going to have uh, multiple of these widgets and, and things we're going to draw. So I think render is uh, basically uh, a bunch of drawables, right? And if you go to drawable, it's an interface, get rect, set rect, draw, sync. Easy, right? Um, do we need to do anything else? No, we don't. We need to do a poll event, but I'm 100% sure it's going to bork out uh, because I know that. Uh, I think we're not going to go run. It's not going to work because we're going to have some. Binance F. Oh, look at that. Perfectly fine. Of course, I cannot kill it because it's going to be in an infinite loop. So I'm going to kill it with this. Like a like a noob. Sometimes I can be one, right? And maybe I am. Who knows? Um, so it's running. It's fine. Um, what can we do? Set text is this one. Maybe we can set a title. I'm pretty sure I can because I can see it on my other screen. Title. It's going to be, uh, actually, I'm going to say this is going to be Binance F. And this is going to be the ticker. Make run, we don't have a make file, Anthony. GG. Binance F, BTC, USDT. And I think uh, the, the, the thingy here, if somebody finds the, sh the, the shortcut for killing a terminal in VS Code, please let me know in the, in the chat real quick right now or in the comments. It is what it is. So I know that. Um, I think this 10 is basically a little bit on the low side. We're going to call this 16 maybe, right? And do it again. Boom. Just like in uh, CSS and uh, oh, this may be too much. Hey, trial and error, right? Uh, 12. Go run. Boom. Looks good to me. All right, next thing. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is the price, right? So we're gonna make a new thing. We're gonna copy this whole shebang here. Whoop. Paste that over. Save this. And we're gonna say P price from a paragraph price. Uh, we should actually modify this with um, some Vintrix, but hey, this is what it is. P price, that's going to be uh, market price. Market price, that's going to be this thing
We're gonna have actually mock the price out real quick. We're gonna be optimistic here. Uh, 30, 30k dollars. Because this one we need to set in our loop, right? Um, price set direct. This is 12.00. So this is going to start at... Two. Let's make a space of 14 maybe. At 0. It's gonna be the same thing here. Hey, looks good to me. Uh, and then we need to say a render P price. Is that true? Who knows? <sighs> this is not good. <laughs> it starts at 14. But is this drawing from... Um, That would be so bad. If, if that's the case, it's the case. Or maybe not. I'm so confused because this is basically the, the point where it starts. Let, let me see because I'm... Um, X1, A2. Oh, it's the corners. I see. I see what they do. I see what they do. I see, I see, I see. It's all fine. Um, I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, almost, almost, guys. Almost. 18. <laughs> Sometimes it's fine, right? 18 is a little bit too much. I want to be... Uh, it should be pinpoint precise. I'm going to... 16 maybe. 16. Please. Yes, you see? Now it's this... Uh, uh, this is fine, right? You see, it's market price in the... Beautiful in the center, right? Beautifully in the center. Uh, I don't like programming UIs. Me neither. Uh, but sometimes... Why VS Code again? Because for um, demonstration purposes, it's a little bit better for me. Uh, it's it's just the font. It's a little bit better, right? I don't care Vim, no Vim. A lot of people use Vim because they think they 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 are they have special powers. Or if, for me, it doesn't matter. I just want to have the best content out for you guys. And I think this with this terminal and everything, it's a little bit better for you guys to follow. And I'm also making the full time GoDev course uh, for the people that don't know. And um, I want to have the best visual visuals for that, right? Okay, <clears throat> without any further ado, that's the price. So right now what we need to do is basically set this price uh, in this loop, right? Because price is going to be changed all the time. So we're going to try to set that here, to be honest. And that's going to be an FMT, uh, as print F of um, percentage 2F. 2F. Is that a thing? Good market price? Let me see if that's gonna work. It's gonna pop up. Yes, you see, market price right here. And it's updating, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's amazing. But what we want is basically uh, the same behavior. I still need to kill it manually. Uh, so what we're gonna do basically is, um, for example, func get price. <clears throat> That's gonna return a string because for reasons. So we're gonna actually copy this thing. There's also a way to draw colors and it's very interesting. Uh, you could do something like that. We're gonna encapsulate this in these two brackets and then we're gonna say the foreground color is going to be... Um, it depends, right? If, 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 if the previous uh, market price is lower than um, price is going to be green but if the previous market price is 
higher than the current market price, we're going to say that the price is going to be the same shenanigans, but it's going to be red. And we're going to return the price. Is that a thing, guys? Probably not. Ref market price. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And then we're going to render. Get price. Market price, actually, to be honest. Market price. Market price. Okay, cool. Go run dot. Yes. Look at this. Dynamic. Um, perfectly fine. Maybe it's borked. I don't know. It's not borked. It's perfectly fine because I made it. All right. So that's 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 in order. The next thing we want uh, is basically uh, in Binance. We have something that is called uh, funding rate, right? Especially for futures. Futures. So uh, this comment. Fuck this. What we're gonna do here is uh, if the stream is the mark price, right? In, in the depth, we uh, handle our order book. In the mark price, we handle the thingy. So we're gonna make another global, why not? Uh, funding rate. Initialize it with uh, nothing. All right, uh, wait, 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 wait. Man, this font, how can I even? How can I even code, bro? Here. Turnbox has a successor Turnbox too. Is it? I didn't know that. Uh, Non-linear sound. Doesn't actually matter. I don't actually care, right? It's just for, I don't know. It's entertainment, right? Entertainment just to show you, right? How to make something real quick uh, for yourself. Uh, pref market price, yada, yada. And then we're going to say, uh, this is P. I think we have something like funding rates actually to be honest the funding rate can be a fucking string <laughs> because we're not gonna do any calculations with it uh, scrolling like a bus funding rate is going to be data and i think let me open up uh, documentation binance market price we're gonna have um, arc trade, BDC, t -t 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 -t, first trade. We don't have this. Wait, I'm at the complete wrong thing. I'm completely wrong. Market price stream. Funding rate, R. For some reason, R. Right. Funding rate. Done. Um, the next thing is get this out of here. Get that out of here. This also. All right. Cleaning up. Uh, let's copy again. Let's copy this beautiful thing. Wait. What am I doing here? This one, copy this, boom, paste that in. And it's gonna be the P fund. 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 Uh, widgets, paragraph, market price, uh, funding rate. <sighs> what is this? It's gonna be. This is so annoying. It's it's now we need to do this. 14 plus 16 plus 14. Once again, we're gonna make this better. No, no worries about that. And this is gonna be uh, 28. Is that true? And then uh, funding rate. No P fund by the way. P fund. It's going to be get market price. That's not true. That's going to be funding. Funding rate. Is that gonna work? Go run. Dot. Render text. Uh, render. Text. Cannot find it. 
small case. You see, that's the the, the searching in in Vim is, is much better. Um, let me see what line it is. One forty four. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Actually, to be honest, uh, I do this and then yeah, 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 it's fine, 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 fine. <coughs> Damn, the funding aid is completely disparu. He's gone. Um, kill terminal. Why is that? Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Because we don't render it in our render here. There's going to be p price p fund goren dot. All right, we have a funding rate. Which browser is it? Um, Chrome. Okay, we don't have padding. So how are we gonna do this? So basically, we're gonna say. Let's make two padding. Uh, P P width or something. I don't know. P width is going to be. Let's let's make it. I don't know. Fourteen. It depends. It depends. It depends. Of course. So we're gonna say this is gonna uh, padding plus P width. Wait, it's not gonna be. P width plus padding. This is annoying. This is so annoying. Uh, 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 uh. This is gonna work. Uh, if this is gonna work, I'm, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. Start. It's not gonna work. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's gonna work. <laughs> Be with perspective. It almost makes sense to code a simple layout engine for this, huh? This is a simple layout engine. This seems to be a simple layout engine, but the problem is that it's 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 not starting from a point I'm willing to start from, right? So, for example, um, let's say this is going to be at zero. It's going to start at zero. And you're going to draw that in a width. That's 14, for example. But this needs to start at the width plus the width again, right? The previous width. This is this is bush. I'm gonna. I'm so confused. This is confusing me like uh, insane. Uh, it's just. It, I have no clue what's going on. He's set wrecked. So this is going to be... Uh, you're going to start at 14 because this guy ended at 14. That basically means that I'm going to say a padding. I can do a padding, right? Let's delete this. Let's delete this. A padding is something we can do. We're going to say padding. It's going to be 2. And actually, we can set that in the... Um, it's not a padding. It's a margin, actually, to be honest. Margin 2, right? So then we're going to say we're going to start at 14. But we're going to add up this margin, right? And this is going to be the height is staying the same. And this is going to be how far do I want to draw this? Well, I want to f draw this 14 plus margin. No, 14 is fine. And this is basically the height. It's going to be 3, right? This could be 3. Man. Uh, P height. 
P height, 14. Uh, let's do this real quick. Let's just see if these two are working fine. God damn it, what's the f So it's basically this guy ne also needs to have the um, previous one. It's plus 14, right? Yeah, of course, that's the base. I'm gonna do it the most dirty way you will ever see in your whole life. You need to encounter the, mar the margin with it. Now we have the same, this should be the same width, right? Is that true? Should be the same width, but it's a little bit too small. So we're gonna say plus some extra stuff uh, too. And if somebody can come up with a cool algorithm. <sighs> B-price offset is going to be... P price offset. Why, oh, man? Why am I? Uh, yeah, yeah. And then start. We don't have that. Uh, we're gonna say I don't know. I quickly to see if the starting is good, right? Quick and dirty. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be okay, okay, okay. Uh, P price offset. So that should also be plus margin, I guess. Maybe I don't know. No, it's not true. What is it? Yeah, 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 we gaming, we gaming, we gaming. Uh, what we're gonna do first is this empty string. I don't like this. Uh, and A, maybe, right? So we know uh, that it's coming. Where are we doing the shenanigans? In main, 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 heat, 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 heat. So we have the speed price offset plus the margin, fine. And then this is going to be the length of this thing, but also the P price offset. P price offset, that's the annoying thing. Maybe there is something better. Plus the margin. Plus the length of this thing, which is going to be 14. No, yeah. Actually, it should be a little bit more, maybe 18. Yeah. I think 16 is a better way. 16. Pinpoint precise. And uh, funding rate is going to be an orange P ticket title length. Ooh. Ooh, that's an, uh, amazing actually. That could be a good idea. Uh, kill terminal. Uh, things that we're gonna do is this funding rate uh, thingy is gonna be a string. So we're gonna say FMT uh, S print F F. We're gonna encapsulate this thing. Percentage uh, doesn't a string here. Do this, this. And we're gonna say FG orange. Orange. Uh, that's no orange. <laughs> that's no orange, my man. You know what? Yellow. Yellow is yellow is yellow, right? Yellow. There is no uh, even a even a blind man can see yellow. This is actually more orange to me, to be honest. So that's the funding rate, all good, all good. What do we need more? Then we need the order book. That's going to be nasty, right? The order book. Uh, we're also gonna draw that stuff in. Uh, and maybe we need our indicator here. Yeah, 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 that's what we need. So, get price. Do we have these things here? Uh, arrow up, arrow down. Yes, we have these things, perfectly fine. So we're gonna say, uh, there's gonna be a percentage S. Is that a string? That's a room. Can we do this? Oh yeah, we can. Look at this. Um, so this is going to be this indicator. Where are we going to place this before? Electrically shocked. Um, percentage, please.
Uh, green. Arrow. Up. Arrow. Arrow down. Doing this at the speed of light, boys. Boom. Look at... Ooh. It's working. But... Our arrow is not colored. And we don't discriminate nobody in this stream. Do you own any Bitcoin? No. I'm push. Hey. Look at this. Beautiful. Uh, something I don't like is this BDC USDT. We're gonna give him some color also because he's, 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 he's looking a little bit a little bit flat. We don't like that. What color are we gonna use? I think. Siam. Sian, Sian is the way to go. Uh, P text. Uh, this guy. FG. Sian. Perfect. We gaming, boys. We gaming. We gaming. And stick in the stream, guys. If you want to see a reaction, I have a good video we're going to react upon. So I can play the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Need to play the YouTube game. Need to level up because I'm all bad, all, almost at 10k subscribers. And then is where the game actually starts. Right? I needed to grind my way up from legit nothing to 10k subscribers on YouTube by only making tutorials about code. You know what I mean? And now it's time to level up so I can be the imposter in the tech community. You know what I mean? That's what I'm going to do. But I need your help. Okay, order book. This is going to be a big problem. But before we're going to do the order book real quick, uh, I want to show you guys something very cool. Um, for the people that don't know, <laughs> some self-promotion. Hey, there is no... Sp do you want me Do you want me to make some advertising about a fucking uh, uh, chocolate milk drink or something? Or a banana drink or uh, whatever uh, scam? So I'm going to do my own scam, right? So basically, full-time GoDev program for the people. Uh, it's a complete program. We cover the whole Golang syntax with some, of course, uh, experienced tips and tricks. Mastering concurrency, building APIs. We're building in hotel reservation uh, backends. Uh, building microservices. This will be more focused on uh, instrumentation, Prometheus, uh, Elasticsearch, your logging and all that stuff. Docker, uh, communicating with each other, protobuffer, JSON, multiple, multiple transports and all that stuff. A gateway. How basically we're going to rebuild something that I did in my job uh, six years ago. We're going to rebuild something like that. Then you get a free bonus, a complete blockchain from scratch. And we're going to talk about how to land the job, right? That's what we're going to do. And for the people, let me quickly show one more thing before we continue. Uh, eh, 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 this one. Yeah, boom, look at this. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Where we? Where are we? It's not. It's in pre-sale, 30% off. It's not com fully complete. But to be honest, um, look at this. This is already online from here. And each fucking episode is... Uh, these, these are around 20, 25 minutes, all of these. These also. And these are basically almost 40 minutes each fucking episode. And we are still not done yet this is going to be hours and hours you and me together right so you can actually make some money by doing golang well, okay cool let's continue right fulltime godev.com 30 percent off after the stream <laughs> um man i'm so bad at marketing to be honest if i was if i was a better marketeer um can be helpful if you have student discounts. Well, if you have student discount, if you are a student and you can prove it to me, uh, send me an email and maybe we can work something out, right? But um, yeah, like I said, the course is actually very cheap. There is nothing like that. On, if, if, when it's, once it's done, it, it is nothing like that. N nobody is doing this. Yeah, it's the only course in the fucking world. It's not a course, it's a program, right? Um, because, all right, so order book. How are we gonna do this? That's a good question. So, I have complete, yo Edgar, what up man, no clue how we're going to draw this order book. Uh, let me open up the documentation of this thing. Let's zoom this a little bit in, boom. 
What do we have? We have a bar chart. We don't need that. For drawing. Bralla dots. Bralla. For people that are blind. Brai. You know, gouge. Image. We don't need that. A list maybe? A tree? What's a tree? Oh, it's a tree. I, I see what... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. 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 A table. I think we need a table. I think we need a table. I think table is the angle. I think it's going to be a table angle. Copy the table angle. Uh, let's paste it in. Beautiful. A slice of string. Yeah, but that's, it, it doesn't need... This, this is... Uh, modern go, guys. Modern go. Modern go. We don't need this, these things here, right? Uh, so we need to set this, this bad boy somewhere, right? That's a good question. So we need to set this... So 3 is the height of our... Um, Shenanigans. It's gonna be the P height here. Which is so bad variable naming. Nobody knows what's going on. Even me. And then we're gonna say, let's make some padding of two plus that's it. That's where we no, this is actually the Y, right? It's gonna be 60, 10. I have no clue what that's gonna be. Uh, but we're gonna render this table out, right? Table one. All right, we got a table. Look at this. So now we're gonna shift this table. Actually, to be honest, we're gonna render the other book there, make it work, and then we're gonna shift them over in the corners where I was most of the time when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I was most of the time in the corner because I was bad. I was always doing something, something I I, I couldn't do. Um, Ioannis, what is up, man? The whole shebang. <laughs> it is what it is. That's true. Uh, yeah, 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 I need to kill these things like a noob constantly, like a pepega, but it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna have an order book, right? So I'm gonna do it dirty real quick. I'm gonna call this OB, actually OB, 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 OB. Pretty sure we already have OB. OBT. OB table. Order book table. Hey. T order book. T order book. I like T order book. Top. Tobias. Boom. Alright. <clears throat> um, so basically, rows. We're going to have, for example, the price. And we're going to have the volume. And that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna delete this thing. Hop. 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 Price volume. And then we're gonna say, for example, it's gonna be price ter 40k because we are very optimistic. And we're gonna say, for example, it's gonna be 0 0.1 in size. Copy this. Do this. Do this. And do this because there is a giant whale sitting at that price level for no reason at all. But hey. How does it look? It sounds a little bit too bombastic, to be honest. A little bit too bombastic, but yeah. It's too bombastic. But I'm a, bomba I'm a bombastic person, if you see me. I'm a bombastic. I'm a unit, so it can be. The question is, can we, can we settle this? Um, top. Ah, oh, here we can do it like that. It's probably this one. If we cut that in, in, in half, right? What's going to happen then? What's going to happen then? That sounds good. That sounds good. What keyboard are, we, are you using? I'm using the Razer Huntsman Mini 60%. But I'm producing for 100%, my man. Don't get me. Don't get you. Don't be mistaken. Don't be mistaken. Uh, price volume. Okay. 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 It's all good. Uh, if this is going to work, I would be so fucking amazingly happy. Look at this, guys. I'm going to infer. How do you learn? 
you infer. You think maybe it works like that and you do it exactly like you think it's going to work. And if it works, you're going to be so happy. If it does not work, you're going to be so sad. Make run. I always use make files. I'm, I'm so sorry here, boom. Yes, it works like I, like I thought it, it's going to work. Uh, like, yeah. That's what I would do, right? Uh, okay, cool. This is zero. So how are we going to do this? We're going to say that the asks are going to be ob dot get asks like this. We're going to have a bunch of asks and we're going to basically say for underscore ask in range. Uh, the asks is going on here. Can I type here? Yeah? Just like that. I'm thinking a little bit. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm thinking a little bit at this point. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Quickly called um, Co Headquarters. And I got an idea. So what we're gonna do is basically uh, we need this 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 uh, slice of slice of strings filled in. Can I do this? We can't. We can, 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 we can. This is gonna be an order book entry, so we're gonna say out y equals ask um, a slice of a slice of string. And that's going to be, of course, we need to, yeah, ask.price, ask.volume. That's going to be a problem because there are no strings, Anthony. Uh, S print F percentage dot to F. What does that mean? A dot to F, that basically means that you're going to format this at two points, two decimals behind the comma, behind the decimal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 and that's why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do this at a, a automatic pilot and sometimes it, it won't come out. The words won't come out. Delete. And then we're gonna basically that the out is this. Is that gonna work? I have no clue at all. Uh, hello? What's going on? Vin Diesel. <laughs> Bent shall Vin Diesel, man. Yes, yes, yes. What are you coding, bro? Just joined. I'm coding a crypto indicator. Uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna run it for you, especially right now. But 
something is, is 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 going on let me do this real quick comment that out we're gonna have out let me quickly print ln this out thingy real quick and then we're gonna say clear and then go run dot and you're gonna see what's going on boom <laughs> Table, table, problem. Style, nobody cares, nobody cares. I'm gonna show it to my buddy. Go run. I wanna show you. What is going on? Is it Toby? It's Toby. Toby is, is, is. Toby. Toby, Toby, Toby. Toby is a bastard. You see, we're making this crypto indicator and it's going to fetch some stuff. And now we're going to render the order book. That's what we're going to do. The order book. The ask, the bits, the volumes. Um, we're going to shift that over to the other side of left. And then we're going to make something else. Uh, yeah, but we're struggling. Well, we're not struggling. It's, it's hard to debug, right? Um, okay, let's bring Toby back to life. Toby. Toby. So we make this out thingy and then um, Shit, uh, uh, let me do this real quick, something like um, I want to test something That should work, right? Okay, so basically this this land ask thingy is is it's it's not gonna happen. It's 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 making me a but wait, what is it making? No, it's making a slice of slice of string. It's it's perfectly fine. But um it's, it's the same thing, Anthony, what are you doing? Love your voice. Thanks, man. Um, come on, come on, we need to set some speed for our, because we need to do the reaction video also, you know, and it's going to be, I don't know, it's probably going to be spicy. Never did the reaction video, by the way. But for everything is a first time, guys, for you, it's also going to be a first time very soon. You're going to, you're going to meet a girl, you're going to maybe kiss for the first time, and, and other things, you know, exploration, creativity, right? You're not, you, you, just let your hands do it. Let, let your hands do their natural movements. You know what I mean? There is no, don't question yourself. Don't be insecure. Take a deep breath, chest up, shoulders pumped, you know, head straight, eyes open, and let, let your soul take over. You know what I mean? All night long. All night long, that's not true. Most likely 10 minutes, 20 minutes at max with some effort, 30 minutes. That's it, right? That, that, not, nothing more than that. This, this is not going to happen more than that. We, we, we've, we had sex the whole night long? Not going to happen. Ain't nobody got time for that. I need to work the other day. The sex all night long. Who's, who's sexing the whole fucking night long? Who is doing that? Who, who's do, what is this? It's in movies, you know what I mean? And books. In the real world, not, that, that, that thing doesn't happen. 30 minutes. With a lot of effort. You know what I mean? Hey. God damn. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, we were up all night long. Yeah, arguing. Arguing about, about the dishes. Did you pee on the toilet bill again? That's why you were up the whole fucking night long. You know what I mean? Playing Call of Duty, maybe. World of Warcraft. All right. One hour. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe, one hour. Uh, guys, I'm completely distracted with all the shenanigans here. Yeah, this Toby thing is, is, is not working out. Uh, wait, first of all, before we do Toby... Can we do this? So we don't need to uh, dismantle Toby a little bit. We can do that. Uh, uh, uh. 
Yeah, it's because this Toby has no has no things. It's fine. Toby has no rose, and Toby doesn't like that. Where is my? Okay, okay. Hey, hey, I can bring up the big guns, right? I can do. I can do this, right? Panic. Panic with the with the capital P. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna, I don't, I wanna land asks by the way. Man, I need to, I need to comment everything out. It's, it's, it's weird. It looks like your code. Zero. Okay, cool. Yeah. Wait. That's gonna be. This is gonna be problematic. Um. What I think we should do is this. I, I already had it, right? The phone call we had a couple minutes ago, uh, they told me that I actually need to pre-allocate this with a fixed amount of 10. And that's gonna be the depth. We don't have depth, so we're gonna say 10, right? Actually, uh, it's fine. That's gonna be the out. That's going to be... That's not true. We're gonna have 10, but 10 asks, 10 bits. Basically, 10 plus 10. 100% correct is 20. So that's that. And then we could do something like this. And we're going to range through this, but there won't be. Why? It doesn't matter. I know. I do it like this. But I want to do it like that anyway. And I do what I want. Uh, so we're gonna do some some shenanigans in here, but this needs to happen actually and um, This can be the same But Toby needs to be and is running That's where Toby needs to be This is not gonna work. This is impossible if this works. This is impossible to work right now. But I'm feeling lucky. Divided by zero. Okay, it's even. We don't do any divisions actually. What is this? Struggling. Who is dividing? Wait, 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 wait. Range off, so I know, but this basically means, oh wait, if um, out is fine, out is fine, out will always be something. We are in problem. Uh, we need to allocate basically what's inside of this thing. Uh, oh man, this is so annoying. Uh, we're gonna say four. It's gonna be 20. We're gonna say out, Y equals a slice of string boom boom and call it a day now he's happy where is the unit test the unit test is still at home he's still squatting I'm the unit test. I'm the unit tester. I'm doing Q&A right now and there is something not right. Uh, so out is fine, right? Actually, to be honest, let's get him out of here. This also. They should give me a table of 20 allocated with strings. Maybe you guys see something that I don't see. Somewhere. 
the first thing that needs to happen is um, I'm confused. My order book is not getting drawn. So, um, they should give me 20 things, right? I mean, I make this. I saw MBA and CMA. Wait, maybe, maybe this is, um, maybe this is too short. Yeah, yeah, it's too short. Okay, 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 we got this. There's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is, we need to, it needs to be scaled down, by the way. Uh, how can we do that? Uh, Toby, let's see what Toby can do. Toby. Column resizers. Custom column sizing. I need a row. Row separator. All this VS code, where Vim, where Vim, where is Vim? Where is Vim Nartu? Uh, I'm using VS Code because it's a little bit um, easier for the people to watch. I want to resize this stupid thing. I want to resize this um, documentation. That's what that's what we mean. Example stable. We are at the table right now, right here. Text alignment center. Okay. Row separator false. Um, fine. Border style, okay, okay. Subtract, fill row, row styles, new style. Boom, 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 boom. Not what we need. Annoying. Toby, widget new table. Boom. Oof, <laughs> VS Code. <laughs> was choking, you know what I mean? He was choking. Uh, new table, block, textile, row separator, true. Row styles, column resize, the function. Yeah, okay, but self, self was doing this. This is bad practice. Uh, this is a narcissistic, narcissistic developer. Too much self. I have no clue what to do. I have no clue how to handle Toby. Inner. Inner Max, no idea. Toby dot padding. <laughs> Bottom. Zero. What I want to do is basically this thing is too big. It needs to be smaller. Maybe it can be smaller. That's also a thing. Uh, the, the icons distract me. Which icons, man? Um, there are no icons. Yeah, it, it is what it is. Then, uh, then we make, for example, then we do 10, right? Then we do 10. Uh, Right, it's gonna be 10, 10, 10, 10. Let's see what's, uh, if that's five, five books, five levels, five depth. Man, that sounds okay. We can do maybe a little more. We can see. Let's start with five, kill terminal. 
<clears throat> so that's fine. So we're gonna get the asks, right? The thing is, let's um, it's gonna be empty for the beginning, but that's all fine because Toby has pre-allocated with the whole shebang. So that means that um, we could do something like ask price and ask volume. We gaming. We gaming, but something I want to do is a stupid separator. Toby dot separator is going to be false. That's the first thing we're going to do. Uh, Toby dot alignment is going to be align center. Um, UI. <laughs> what? No separator. Look at this. They gave me. It's fine. I'm happy with this. I'm really, really, really happy with this order book. Actually, to be honest, it it basically solved everything. Suddenly, is <laughs> it? Or it basically solved everything. The separator, to be honest. Uh, so we can do twenty, right? We can do 20. Um, we first gonna do the asks, yeah, and then we're gonna do this, boom, boom. Um, Stop. Bits. Look at this. Var. Boom, 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 boom. Bits. Ha. Huh. Bits. Bit. Bit. Call it a day. Is it gonna work? Mm, who knows? Nope. 24. Why is that? Twenty-four. This is scuffed iterated probably. Eh, it is this one, yeah. Zero. And then Bonjour Madi Awada. What's up man? Sup sup. What you're there? <laughs> All these it's no worries man, I know Vim, Vim is cooler, but like I said, it doesn't really matter for me. The only thing I want is a good uh, viewer experience. That's for me the best. Uh, so you guys can see much better than now. Like I said, I'm making a lot of these videos for the full-time GoDev program, this program I make for Golang, and I want to be, I want to easily uh, rescale my font. I want to have a good terminal so everybody can see. I want to open up the folder sometimes so I can show things. Instead of using this Vim uh, thingy, it's, it's kind of, I don't know, uh, sometimes they don't, sometimes people don't see what's happening and I already made a file, but you don't see it all the time. So I wanted, not everyone, the program, I mean, I need to suit everyone, right? And uh, by the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what you use as long as you are productive anyhow, right? You can use whatever. You can use Notepad. Who cares? 24. I'm a little bit confused why we have this index out of range 24. That's actually... Um, That's weird. So we're making 20? Yeah, it's true. And we have 24. Is that because we... Uh, we don't need this random.
commander, by the way. What's this? Where's this coming from? It's probably nothing. Delete this. Wait, what am I doing here? Font too big. It's fine. That is 10, yeah. So it can. That. Yep. Oh shit. I see what the problem is. Uh, this is the problem. If it's bigger. Oh no, 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 it isn't. Bigger or equal. Return the depth. Otherwise. Return entry. So that should be 10, right? The same thing with. Uh, this thing. Entry is depth. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So we could have 20. So, for some reason. Um, Hey, it doesn't matter, right? I mean, uh, then, we, then we make then we make twenty four length. I don't know. Who cares? What's going on? Let's make twenty six, just to be sure. We will, we will debug that later on. It's just a little bit weird. I don't know where this, this is for extra is coming from, to be honest. Oh, wait. This is impossible. What's going on? It's impossible because... Microsoft Word, that's also an option. Bits are sorted, so what you could do is this, for example. Um, Maybe it needs a set rater, I have no clue. Uh, we loop here, we're gonna say four. We're gonna make a four loop. We're gonna make this 10. Uh, copy this, paste that in, delete this thing. We're gonna do asks why price. Asks why volume. Bits, we don't need this. Iter, we're gonna not need this right now. We're gonna see how this is going on with this one thingy. Go run the dot. Oh, man, this ar erase thingy, man. Oh yeah, of course, this is problematic. Uh, if, len, look at this. We're gonna do some loading up. We're gonna say if, len, uh, of the asks, is bigger than it's ten. Bigger than ten. Bigger equal than ten. Uh, hey. No. What am I doing? Look at these copy pasting things. The Vim clipboard, by the way. Okay, okay, that's, that sounds good. That sounds good. That sounds good. That sounds good. Still these these, these zero values. That uh, no problem, no problem, no problem. Um, we're gonna do the same with the bits here. We're gonna copy this whole shenanigans. Copy this, paste that in. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna call this bits. We're gonna save for formatting. We're gonna change this to bits. Normally, in an ideal scenario, guys, you want to take more time to check what's going on and make things better, but you need to understand, I'm in a stream, I need to make stuff fast to show it on the screen, because otherwise we're sitting for a lot of time making things better, and nobody, there's no, it's no entertainment, so we need to make sure we have something on the screen as soon as possible. Uh, this is uh, not, uh, not gonna work very fine, very good. 
Not gonna, not gonna work very good, my friend. Um, mm, 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 mm. Shit. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, that should work. Of course, we're gonna, we're gonna have another problem. I can see it already coming because I just picked some random stuff. It's not. Look at this. Beautiful. Uh, now we did it, right? So uh, now we need to do some cool stuff. So these are basically bits. So that basically means we're gonna say this. Hop, hop. FG. It's gonna be bits, 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 green, 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 green. And this is going to be a red, right? Um, asks, buy, uh, sell, selling, red, boo. FG, red. Yuppie, yuppie, yuppie. That's how we say that in Belgium. We say UP. Okay, one more one more problem is uh, I think this is is wrong. The problem is we need to they need to be swapped a little bit uh, in this case, and I think we made a mistake. These are the asks, yeah, bits. Okay. Um, but it's fine. It's okay. Nobody worries. Let's do it again because it's cool. Make run. We don't have a make file once again. So now we, we're gonna fine tune, uh, there's gonna be 10. So that's basically one, one, 10 is 20, 22. That's quick math. So we're gonna say, Toby, 22 is this, this, this cannot be, this cannot work because this is also going to take an account. Look at this, this is not gonna work. And I think why? Because it also need to take account the offset of the top level. You see, a, a small mistake, but we're gonna correct that. Kill terminal. And by the way, what I also wanna do, I don't like this gray um, volumes. So we're gonna, what's a good volume color? Um, can you see this? Yeah, we're gonna say uh, FG is going to be Cyan, right? Cyan for volumes. Uh, this, this, FG, Cyan, perfectly fine. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have this 22, but we also have the offset, and the offset is going to be... P height plus two. Legit no clue is, is a finger picking, finger picking shenanigans. Think what you want to think, but I think it's very obvious. A genius at work. A genius at work. <laughs> God damn it. Wow, oh, imagine that I would look like this, like a robotic programmer, like. I'm basically the stereotypical uh, male chat GPT tree. Nothing happened. Nobody saw this. This legit nothing happened. Oh, what is this, my Ooh, baby? Oh, 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 oh! Kill terminal. He's a reap. This is a race condition somewhere. We, nobody cares why. It's working. It's gorilla mix, by the way. It's it's archived. It's 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 bad. Don't use it. Why do you use WebSockets or REST? I'm using WebSockets, of course, right? WebSockets, real-time data streaming in directly at your fingertips. You know what I mean? The tick. Um, okay, we're gonna fix that later on, right? Of course, first of all, let's make things work. Let's make our UI and then we can fix the red, the, the, the edge, the, the rough edges, right? So now we need to shift over. <clears throat> I wanna shift over this order book here. And maybe we should do it below my, 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 uh, my window here, below my uh, camera, camera thingy. All right, so hey, looking good, man. We are in the green. Funding it, all good. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, kill terminal, right? So how are we gonna do this? We're gonna shift that over. That's basically uh, Toby. Toby needs to be shift over. So Toby is 30 wide. So that basically means we have no clue what the width is of our um, canvas. We don't know that. 
Is there a way to find it out? UI.width? Nope. UI.height? Nope. UI.canvas? Dot... Dot ca can canvas? Dot... Canvas? Dot... UI dot There is nothing. So we're gonna finger point this. So let's say let's start off with 800 or something. That's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a big problem because now every value will basically be shifted out. Of the, uh, will be. Yeah. This is the width, by the way. What the hell is going on? It's Toby. Immune to mind control uh, because I'm a, I'm 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 a shadow priest. Shadow priests are immune to mind control. I co I'm yeah. They have they have a fear word, you know, fear word back in the days. TBC fear word was insane. Um, grounding totem. I have a grounding totem. You know what I mean? I place it down and nobody can do anything. I'm immune. Um, oh, this is so annoying because the thing is, if we if we shift this over, all these values here are gonna be borked, and we did so our best to <laughs> to 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 make it. Um, wait, let me quickly think. Uh, Chinat LP here to say thank you for your content, really helping me a lot. We'll try to apply for your lessons on my internship next Monday. You're the you're the man, Adika. Thank you for being the best channel for going on YouTube. I love your ide ideologies about how a real developer should be. Chat GPT and VS Code, easiest things, but take away from real craft. Uh, that is true. I think uh, to sum that up. In your learning phase as a developer, using Chat, G using Chat GPT and um, GitHub Copilot is not the end of the world. But if you are a beginning asp aspirant developer that needs to learn, you should not use it at all. And I and and I say at all, and I don't care what people think. And oh, I'm not agree with you. I don't care about your opinion. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't care. And if you don't care about mine, then you watch another channel. But I see what I'm gonna say is, and that's actually true, don't use chat GPT-3 uh, copilot at all if you are a learning beginning a developer. Because what you need to learn, learning a syntax, easy. Learning a programming language, that's the easy part, guys. Python, Rust, C++, Pascal. Cobalt, who gives a fucking shit? That's easy. That's study. That's just read things and remember. Right? Variable, var. Constant, const. For loop, for. Some, uh, and some languages have, have different things. For in, for i, dot, dot, ten. You know what I mean? It's remembering. The hardest part in programming is being able to find patterns in on how to solve a problem. That's the most important thing. Because a lot of people, they don't know how to, they, 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 they have a problem and they kind of know how they could solve it, but they cannot translate that to code. And that has nothing to do with the syntax. That has to do because you don't know how to structure or how to handle or how to place or what to use all these kind of patterns you don't know them and the best way to learn them is to explore and to trial and error and be frustrated for four hours wasting your time and i repeat be frustrated for four hours wasting your time until you've solved the solution yourself and that will stick in your mind for the rest of your life and you do that for a couple of years and you will have all these frustrating moments but you will build your vocabulary you will build your own language model in your head that's how you become a good developer right that's the difference 
and then you can go for this productivity boosting uh, chat GPT trees or uh, GitHub Copilots because you already know the patterns. So you can it's it's you are not handicapping yourself. You have the basics already. You know it. Now you can use uh, Chat GPT three to spit out some code. You grab the shit. You <laughs> a couple of tricks. Boom, and you have beautiful code that works because you know what you're doing. But beginner co programmers will have the false power of being good by using these things, but you're not. End of point. Period. Done. <laughs> and that's the last thing I want to say about ChatGPT DDT3. It is what it is. This is the truth. This is how it is. This is how I do it. This is how. Uh, this is how it should be done. You gonna or you gonna stay mediocre? Fine. Stay mediocre. Fine for me. I don't care. You know what I mean? This was already been done. If I use ChatGPT3, I swear to God, this was already been done. Beautiful. It was more. Uh, it was already been done. But I would not be as satisfied you know what i mean if this if i need to do this for a job for example and i want to do it quickly because they're going to pay me money then i would use ChatGPT 3 you know what i mean took me six hours and i was done at 10 minutes sipping margaritas on the beach you know take the money and sip margaritas on the beach but if you want to learn yeah you need to go through the pile of shit first Right? And then you can use toilet paper to wash your hands, to wipe, to wipe your, your poo-poo. <laughs> All right, um, I think it's good. We're gonna do this reaction thingy. Um, I'm gonna open up a video, and, but first of all, we're gonna test the volume eh, because I'm gonna record it also on YouTube, you know? Double, double trouble. First of all, let's do a go run real quick to just see what we did. So we made this beautiful indicator, um, but we still need to do some stuff. The biggest indicators still need to, need to be done, but we have already a beautiful UI, right? We know a little bit of the interns of this uh, new UI lip you're gonna use, and we have this real-time market data price funding in it, and we have we can add more stuff if we want. But I want to have this here. This place going to be the the red boss of indicators, right? The we're gonna make some kind of a volume profile ish support resistant based on, uh, for example, here we're gonna have some price levels. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're gonna see, okay, this price level has the biggest volume, and then we're gonna draw whoosh, a line as the support or resistance, and vice versa, up like a. And then we have again this beautiful problem here, and yeah, yeah, kill terminal. All right. So before we're gonna do the reaction video, we're gonna say uh, first of all, I'm gonna kill the. Um, what are we gonna do? We're gonna kill this music here. Now it's quiet, right? And maybe I should actually ask uh, ask some questions, answer some questions first, and then we're gonna do the reaction video. Um, and hey, guys, if you have proposals uh, on on what I need to react on on what I need to give my opinion, I'm not gonna. It's not for. It's it's basically not for uh, uh, looking for beef or to um, criticize somebody. It's basically my own opinion on on a concept that somebody is explaining on YouTube. Like like everybody does, right? Asmon Gold, Pri Primogen, everybody is doing these reaction videos. I cannot stay behind. Go is written in C. Uh, I think it is. Not quite sure, probably. Have you ever used Motoko programming? No, man. <laughs> no, Motoko programming. No, I didn't. I didn't use the Motoko programming language. It, it sounds cool. I write Motoko. Motoko toko. Motoko. Sounds like uh, <laughs> sounds like uh, like like these um, hunter gatherer uh, tribes from back in the day. They write motoko. You know what I mean? With 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 a uh, with a knife on on stone. Motoko. I do C programming programming currently. That's nice, man. If you do C, um, you're gonna learn a lot, right? C is a yeah. C is is the it's the daddy. This is what it is. You can tell. C. C is everything. Everything is C, and C is everything. You are C, I'm C, we are C, C, C. What is your zodiac? <laughs> I'm not quite sure what the zodiac is, to be honest. All right, so let me first... Um, what's going on here? 
This is what I need. Uh, yeah, so I have this, this beautiful video here. The reason, let me zoom in by the way. I know I, I, this is the first time I'm gonna do this, so we need to we need to prepare this, guys. I'm gonna record this. It's already recording, but I'm gonna cut that out. So we're gonna do a little a little sound check, right? So I'm gonna play this video here, Go, right? Also known as Golang, is a Can programming you, language developed by Google in 2007. What is what is Go this this uh, this sound? And is used by a number of high-profile companies such as Google, Netflix, and Docker. Can you give me some feedback? Zodiac Star Build, no man. Uh, I'm a, a bowskater. Bam! I'm shooting. I'm a sharpshooter. I'm shooting with the arrow. I'm the daddle. I'm the daddle of this humanity. You know what I mean? Um, can, did you guys hear this? I'm going to do it again. Actually, to be honest, um, I'm going to put this uh, full throttle louder. Yeah, that's what I thought, right? Also known as Golang. Again. Golang is a programming language developed by Google in 2007. Go has a strong and great Is that good? Base. It's low. Okay, cool. It's, it's still a little low. So we're going to do it again. Go, also known as Golang, is a programming language developed by Google in 2007. Go has a strong and growing... U and now... AI generated. It is. But it's, it's, it's nice because... Um, you're going to see. You're going to see. I'm going to do it again. It's not AI generated. It's basically a script uh, written by somebody, and it's 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 uh, probably uh, robotically voice robotically, um, or it could be actually AI generated. A AI generated script. Uh, that that's true. Uh, full volume is good. Like, I'm gonna do it once again, and I'm gonna do it again, right? Because I think uh, there are some good points in here uh, in this thing. Go, also known as GoLang, is a programming language developed by Google in 2007. Go has a strong and growing user base and is used by a number of hyper. Is that volume good, guys? Is that volume good? Let me know. Let me know. Hello, master. Can we find something really different in your ultimate Go Dev course, or is it more uh, to speed up to beginners in the community for some months already a Patreon as well? Eric Sanchez. Um, It's, it's completely new. It's completely new. It's, um, like I said, the full-time GoDev program, it's it's a couple chapters, right? It has a beginner's chapter. Uh, it's basically a Golang experience chapter. The syntax of Golang, for loops, switches, struct, struct embedding, pointers, interfaces, how to use them, uh, best practices. Right, for people that are willing to learn Golang. Then we're gonna go to concurrency. How is concurrency, channels, buffer channels, all that stuff. How are we gonna use that package context? A little bit more in depth into concurrency, right? This is basically the basics, right? For the people that don't know that, if the people are willing to learn that, they can do that. If the people don't wanna do that, it's perfectly fine. You go to the second thing, and that's JSON APIs. We are building a hotel reservation backend everything it's going to be multiple series long it's already i think 11 or 12 episodes uh online and we still need to basically do the double so we're gonna have 20 we're gonna make the complete project right um 20 i think it's around maybe 18 ish 80 20 episodes of 40 minutes right and then you already have a couple hours of of, of uh, the go introduction thingy and then after we know how to build json apis it's very important how to structure things and uh, all these best practices, how to interact with databases, interfaces, and all that stuff. Then we are going to the microservices, and that is going to be a couple simple microservices, very, 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 very small, but you're going to know how to structure them. You're going to know how to implement logging. How are we going to use that logging to Elasticsearch? You're going to learn how to uh, measure your metrics with Prometheus. You're gonna learn how to communicate uh, with these web, uh, uh, how to communicate with each other in Protobuffer, in JSON, multiple stuff. How to make clients for your uh, microservice. How to communicate. We're gonna build a gateway on top of that. That we're gonna deploy everything with Docker, um, and that's so it's gonna be more of a. Um, the microservices thing. It's not, it's not so say about how to code. It's more of how do these things work and how you build one and how is it gonna be at your job. How is it going to be? What are you going to do when you're going to work for a company that is asking you to make a microservice? And that's what you're going to do. 
That's what I'm going to teach you. We're going to make a project the same that I did when I was working six years ago at a Belgian company. You're going to make the same thing, but not, of course, with fake data, right? So it's going to be a real thing. It's, 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 it, 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 it's online. It basically, it basically handles the traffic of Belgium. You know what I mean? My service. All right, so we're gonna do this, uh, this, this thing. Like I said, I've never done a reaction video. Of course, I'm the best trash talker ever, but we're not gonna trash talk this AI thingy. If you have a better video, hey, we're gonna try this, why not? Uh, okay, so if the, we're gonna do it. I hope, uh, I'm gonna replay the sound once again, and if the sound is not good, you're gonna Go, tell me. also known as Golang, is a programming language developed by Google in 2007. Go has a strong perfect volume. All right, because this video is gonna cover uh, a lot of things we can we can talk about. So I'm gonna interrupt the video when needed. So I'm gonna do it full screen here. <laughs> Take a deep breath. All right, we're going. We're going, boys. We're going. All right. Go, also known as GoLang, is a programming language developed by Google in 2007. Go has a strong and growing user base and is used by a number of high-profile companies such as Google, Netflix, and Docker. The reality is that Go is not as popular as other programming languages. So why isn't the programming language created and used by the tech giant Google as widely adopted as some other languages? Let's find out. Go is a relatively new language, which is one of the reasons we'd like to mention. A relatively new language. This is the first thing I actually not agree with, right? It's it's Golang is, is I don't know. I think it's it's older than ten years. Is is that new language? I don't think so, right? I don't think so, uh, because you need to understand that people are going to watch these videos, and the, a lot of people are confused, right? A lot of new programmers, aspiring pro programmers, are confused. A lot of people that want to build a startup are confused, and then they're going to use uh, they're going to look up uh, Golang good or is Golang popular, and they're going to come up to this video. Because it had 18k views, don't get this mistaken. And they're gonna see Go is a relatively new language. What is relatively new? It's 10, 12 years old, maybe older. You know what I mean? So, not quite sure. It has only been around for about 15 years. This means it has had far less time to gain traction and build its fan base compared to more established languages. The second reason is related to Go being a statically typed language. This means that variables must be explicitly declared with a specific type. In fact, some developers prefer dynamically typed languages, which can be easier to write, but can also be less efficient and more prone to errors. That that is a reason why Go is not, is, is, is not that popular, I cannot understand. I mean, statically typed languages that write as if it was a dynamically language, is the best thing that a developer can, can happen, right? You know what I mean? And that's what Go feels to me. Of course, they say it's a relatively new language compared to PHP, uh, Java maybe, and, and Python. Of course, Go is relatively new. That's true, that's true. And, but I rather, I rather make a script in Go than I would make a script in Python. Just because Go is statically typed, it's much easier. The compiler can basically if you just compile your program, can already check a lot of things for you, right? And especially if you make a script, it's always a little bit dirty, right? The scripts are always a little bit spaghetti stuff going on. And having a compiler that helps you compile stuff and check stuff, check typing uh, and all that stuff, um, hey, that sounds like a plus to me. Yeah. It is what it is. What's going on? I'm searching here. The third reason is related to the tools around Go. Apart from the fact that Go is not as flexible as some other languages, it does not have as many features or libraries available. This can be seen as a drawback by some developers who prefer languages with a more comprehensive standard library and a larger ecosystem of third-party libraries. This needs to this needs an interruption because he's telling that. I think Go has the best standard library of, 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 of all languages that I encountered, right? And I encountered a lot of languages. Uh, uh, Go is the first language that actually makes sense for me, right? Of course, Go, uh, Rust probably also have a good standard library, but still a lot of things are missing. But in the Go standard library is the best thing 
a developer can can overcome everything it's all batteries are included it's not too much because you have these lang- like i think rust is too much i think it's too big of an idea it's a good language but i think they they go too far there is too much going on there is uh, too much confusement and in the go is so simple the standard library is so the the all the batteries are included but not too much you know what i mean not too much if you want to have something uh, then you need to do it yourself and that's why the go community doesn't really like to use a lot of dependencies in their project right because you could do so much with the standard library itself right you see osama ibrahim go standard library is a blessing and i think that's the same libraries don't get me wrong you'll find thousands of libraries available for go but our reasoning is relative and is based on comparing it to other languages with more than 137,000 libraries, Python is the most popular language in the world according to PYPL. Is 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 that a blessing to have to have one uh, to have these these insane amount of libraries like like a note like npm and all that stuff? I don't think so. I think it's 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 a curse. Because how many garbage is there? If you it's easily it's in a note. It's so easy to basically find a library and you need to spend a lot of time to check if it's e- actually a decent one because there are so many of them. It's easy. It's easy to get into this ticking time bomb of npm and and all that stuff. And maybe in Python, I'm not quite sure. I'm not really um, a Python dev myself. Um, I'm not quite sure how the quality is there, but I know in Node npm is basically it's it's a trash can. You know what I mean? It's the dumpster. It's the dumpster. Everybody's dumping his bullshit in there, right? And it stays there forever. It's like a blockchain. It's crazy. All index. The 11th programming language in the same ranking is Go. The fourth and most important reason, in our opinion, is the market. A programming language like Python was first released in 1991. Others like PHP and JS were released in 1995 while Go was released in 2009. There's a difference of about 15 years between Golang and Python. Imagine the number of projects and companies that used Python during these 15 years. As these systems expand, more Python developers will are needed to maintain and improve them. Knowing that in the market, there's as always a higher demand for programmers to support and develop existing systems rather than create new ones. The consequence is clearly visible. The demand for Python programmers has increased as Python systems continue to grow and require more support. In contrast, there are fewer experts in Go, therefore fewer job opportunities in this field, and as a result, fewer projects. It is also worth noting that Python and JS are constantly being improved and updated. Over. He has a point, right? It has a point here, right? So basically, the thing is, of course, um, and I think Rust has a little bit more to suffer from that than Go, but all these companies, all these tech, basically started writing software X amount of years ago, and it was Java, a lot of Java, C++, Python, of course, uh, Ruby on Rails, all that stuff, it was a PHP, it was a very hipster thing. And um, JavaScript, Node, big booming stuff. So the gross the gross of the developers or indeed javascript python java developers uh, more in the in the corporate world um, python right so the technical depth for a company you need to, I, I, I had a company myself right multiple and um, we wrote our stack also in nextjs and a little bit of a little bit of go but just for a specific service right a little bit of go and like, you know, I'm a Go enthusiast, right? I, I write a lot of Go, not because I, I fell in love with the language, but because it's giving me a lot of productivity. But as a, as a, as a, C, as a CTO, I rather write my stack in JavaScript or in, in, in Python. Actually, in, I would do JavaScript, to be honest, there's no better language to write it in, JavaScript, TypeScript, these things. Eh? Because the technical depth is so low, because you know you're going to find some kind of a guy instantly boom because there are a lot of these recruiters and you uh, i want to have uh, a node.js developer uh, react experience and all that stuff and boom one hour later you have a list of 50 developers to choose from you know what i mean 
and they can there is there is a lot of things on the market all these frameworks they do everything for you it's you can build a project legit in a week you can bootstrap your startup in a week with only one developer in the front and in the back end at the same time that's true that's something we cannot forget forget right that's something you need to keep in mind as a tech perspective it's bad it's not bad but it's most likely not the best especially if you're a startup to to go to go to pick go or rust especially not rust because rust is very very it's a very technical depth for a beginning company for a startup you know what i mean of course these big companies like discord and all these big big things netflix maybe they have the power they have the money they have the knowledge to start utilizing these newer languages like go and rust to bring them into their tech stack because it's different for them but most of the time companies are not going to use that and they're going to stick with the things that worked for them for many many years where they can basically fish a fish out of the sea in a second like python yes and all that stuff right for all the majority of the job market involves maintaining legacy systems rather than starting from scratch and it may take a long time for go to establish itself in the market this doesn't mean that job opportunities for Go developers are non-existent, but compared to Python and other popular programming languages, Go has a smaller share of the market. Overall, while Go may not be as popular as its alternatives, it's faster and more efficient than other popular programming languages. It also has a strong and loyal user base and is a powerful language that is well suited to many use cases. This is the end of this episode from the 5 Minutes Golang Show. Do not forget to subscribe to our Go channel Lang and join our Golang community. I especially picked this short video because, um, and like I said, if you have, if you have uh, a suggestion for uh, another video, hey, let me know in the Discord or in the comments and I will uh, do these um, reaction videos from time to time because I think it's interesting. Uh, but the main thing to take away is that uh, they, what the, also something that's being said in, in the... In, in that video is that you're gonna there are less job opportunities for go and for rust and for all these these uh, these, these niche languages but that's true but that's also one of one of the is also a strength right because there are a lot of yes developers there are a lot of python developers it's a big it's a lot of competition right so your salaries will probably be suppressed if you know something if you know something that a lot of people don't know, like for example, if you're good at Rust, good at Go, good at, for example, blockchain technology, right? These are very niche things. If you can specialize yourself in something like that and you can land a job, you're most likely going to get paid a lot more than the average salary, right? But that's the risk you will need to take, right? And I think if you wanna, if you, if you for, especially for new, for new programmers, this is a question that always comes up. What language should I learn? I would always go for JavaScript first. JavaScript is, in my opinion, if you want to be a developer, if you want to make money, if you want to be on the market as soon as possible, JavaScript. That's what you need to learn. Because also JavaScript is very, um, it's a very not C-ish language, but you know what I mean. It's a, JavaScript is, is a normal language. It's a normal programming language. It has brackets, it has for loops, it has all these classic programming things. If you know JavaScript, you can easily directly start somewhere. If you, of course, you need to learn the language and all the tooling because it's the tooling that's going to be most likely the, the, the biggest problem, right? But if you know that language, you can do both front end and back end. You have a, you can choose your career path whenever you want. You can uh, easily pick up other languages and, 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 but you're already working somewhere, you know, and then pick in your free time. You can, you can learn, for example, a rest or something or a goal and depends on what you want. Oh, man, my mic, you know what I mean? So, um, but I would, I would say yes, for sure. And that's, I basically don't write any JavaScript anymore. And I still pick JavaScript because I know I'm always, don't think with your emotions, guys. Stop thinking with your programming language. Stop thinking with your emotions. You need to start thinking with your bank accounts. That's why you need to start thinking. Where is the money? How can I, I want to be a programmer? Okay, cool. What do I need to do? Where is the fucking money? Show me the money! 
the money is in web development right now. Of course, there's a lot of things, and then you can split out the spirit systems, and you can you can you can um, you can find these niche companies, and they can they will pay you a lot of money. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I think it's cool. I'm gonna make this video. It's gonna be on a YouTube. Uh, I'm not quite sure how it's gonna be. Uh, but it is what it is. It's a, it's a short one, but I think it needs to be short because I think a reaction video of 15 minutes is, is completely whack. Nobody's going to watch that. I think reaction of 10 minutes, 8 minutes maybe, which was a 5-minute video with some, with some pauses. I think it's going to be maybe 10, 10 minutes or something. A little bit of full-time go dev. Marketing inside, of course. <laughs> uh, and it's going to be that, yeah. All right, are there any questions? Uh, we still have uh, around... 10, 10, 15 minutes to hang around, and otherwise I'm gonna end the stream. Depends on the people. Let's do one more time the thingy. Let's do a, a, a go a make run, a go run by the way. Go run. Boom. Look at this. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. Still have a problem, but we're gonna fix that the next thing. The next step, the next stream, we're gonna finish this indicator for once and for all, and then we're gonna move on to the next one. The Tony Robbins in the Go world, I don't want to be, Tony Robbins is a fucking scammer, man, this, this guy is, is, is a real scammer, you know what I mean, I'm talking absolutes, you know what I mean, I'm talking real stuff, I don't promise you the world, you know what I mean, Tony Robbins is, if you go to a Tony Robbins thing, you come back and you're gonna kill a dinosaur, it is what it is, you're gonna kill an elephant, a tiger, and a gorilla at the same time, this guy, you know what I mean, uh, which is the language you are the best in? Vlams. <laughs> Vlams. I'm the best in Vlams. Vlams is basically uh, Flemish. You know what I mean? It's the best language. Uh, I don't know. What's the best in? You know what I mean? It's, I'm, I don't think in, in language. It's the language I know the most inside of my head without looking at documentation. Of course, Golang, I think. Golang, JavaScript, maybe. Uh, JavaScript, I'm actually not sure. Think Golang. Golang for sure. Right? But I don't, it's, it's not about what language you're best in. It's basically based on how good are you at programming? How good at, at, are you at finding problems? How good are you at self-depending? How good are you at being self-dependent? So you don't need to, your colleagues and, and, and all that stuff and help me, help me. I have a problem. And then they go to Discord and then they dump in the stack, over, uh, the, the stack trace in the hope somebody's going to solve it. That's not good. Fix it yourself. You know what I mean? Uh, of course, you can ask for best practices. You could say, hey, I solved this X, Y, Z. Is this a good approach or is it something else? Because you fixed it, but because you're not experienced yet with the syntax, maybe is a better way to do that. And that's what where you can ask in Discord and say, hey, and get tips from, you know what I mean? But I think uh, there is no... Programming language, programming language knowledge should not be measured in an interview. That's my opinion. But I can, I, can, I can understand that companies willing to do that, right? They want to say, okay, we, our stack is in JavaScript, so we want to have the best JavaScript developer. Makes sense. But uh, actually, what actually matters is to how good are you at finding... How good are you at, at hacking something together? That's what it actually is. How good are you at hacking some, something together? Because that's the most difficult part, right? Because there are a lot of these, these programming uh, nitpickers, right? We talk about these programming nitpickers all the time on the stream. We talk about them all the time. They, they are very good at their programming language. They are the Ruby. They are so good. You know, everything. Python, they know everything. Rust, they are always there to comment on a PR that something is not quite right. Something is not okay with your code. It's working, but these guys, yeah, they have, they, they, they have I don't know. They want a nitpick. These are very good. But are they also very good at hacking things together? Probably not. Because if you can hack things together, which basically means building solutions, there is always, you can always make it better yourself, right? It's just a little bit of studying the syntax, right? A little bit of best practicing, looking, looking at, at some some examples, what is the best practice, and refactoring your solution to a best practice. You know what I mean? But being a nitpicker in a programming language, going to a nitpicker that knows everything, to a problem solver, a hacker, 
that's problematic. That's problematic. And if you're being a nitpicker and you're 30 years or you're 28 or you're years and years and years of nitpicking, it's going to be very hard to get out of this nitpicking zone and go back to the problem-solving zone. Uh, and you're going to make your money, right? Companies need nitpickers. Like, company needs a little different kind of people, right? I already talked I already talked about this. We have different kinds of programmers. I am a builder. I am not a finisher. I, I cannot finish. You see my code? I'm a builder. I make things. Uh, I try to make things. I try to come up with creative solutions. But... The last 20%, I'm good at the 80%. I'm the best at the 80%. I'm going as a fucking madman, right? As a madman. But the last 20 to 30%, like finishing things up, you know, like these little bits, a test here and a test there, and oh, this needs to be this and that needs to be refactored. Ah, that's not for me. And a company does not need to have too much of guys like me. Because if everybody is like me, the company is a big problem, right? You need a lot of net, you need to have a lot of finishers. People that need a list of issues. People that need guidance. People that need planning. People that need support, right? They, they, they cannot figure something out themselves. It's fine. They need to have a clear Jira issue with some examples and some things and clear guidelines and they will fix that. They will fix that issue. They will make that happen and they will, they will do it good. And it will be perfectly fine. The color will be the exact gradient like you asked for and it will be fine. But don't ask these people to, hey, this is a problem. How do we solve that? <gasps> They choke. They have no clue. Where is my diagram? Where is my text? Where is this? Where is that? I don't have an example. <gasps> In a language I don't know. And they are getting a burnout. You know what I mean? These people, they, 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 it's fine. A company needs a lot of different profiles. You know what I mean? And you also need these nitpickers that are the people that are always there and then they, the gatekeepers of the code. You know what I mean? These... There are a lot, the PR managers, the, the, the lead developer, you know what I mean? The guy with his fat belly, uh, with his dusty keyboard, you know? The guy that plays World of Warcraft 24-7. There are a lot of different profiles and nobody is the same. Right? Nobody is the same person. And I, you, you need to understand where you, are you good at and you need to abuse that, right? If you're good at X, you need to abuse that and tell the people that you're good at that, so you can have that role, you know what I mean? So you can be happy. If you sit me in front of a GitHub list with issues that I need to complete, 50 issues, and I need to complete that for the rest of my life, all these, man, no money in the world, I'm gonna do that. Even if they pay me 500K a year, I don't give a shit. I ain't gonna do that, you know what I mean? I'm a creative person, I'm a builder, I'm an engineer, I want to build things up from the ground up, and call it a day. You know what I mean? 80% and vamos a la playa. You know? Whew. Where is the Jira ticket? I mean, don't do it. I, I said the company where I work for now is, is amazing. I mean, it's like, it's a dream. It's a dream come true. I'm not going to lie. Uh, no Jira tickets, no, no shenanigans. Go on. We just go. We just go with the fucking flow like madmen. You know what I mean? We built the craziest stuff. Server-side scripting. I'll be building own fucking programming languages. In Go. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, man. But how does the, the uh, nitpicker becomes a builder? Never. Nitpickers will never be builders. Like I said, you cannot reprogram. You are who you are. The, the nature of the beast can never be changed. People will not change their mind. People will die. It is what it is. In my, in my career, in my life, actually, it's, not, it's, it's more may, maybe a life advice. In my life, I questioned myself the way how I do to people, how I react to people, how I, what's in my head all the time. I questioned myself a lot of times. That I thought, man, am I normal or is something wrong with me? 
And sometimes I see people, and I'm gonna give you an example. I see when I bought my house, my house, there was a guy and everything was in order. He was so structured. I remember that he was, uh, he had a, a little box, a nice little plastic box. And in that box, he had all the papers of the, uh, when he replaced the garden lights, uh, the, the thing of the refrigerator, uh, the documents of the chairs I bought over because I have like a, a higher kitchen tablet and higher chairs and I bought them over. And he had everything from over these years. He had all the keys, all the keys of all doors. All the keys beautifully in that plastic thing. And I was there and I was amazed. I was, I thought, how can one be so organized? How do, they, how do you do that? I'm the most savage person on the planet. Give me a calendar and I basically die. I cannot plan anything if somebody says, Tomorrow at two o'clock we do this. I'm basically already starting to die inside. You know? I rather go two times to the to the to the supermarket because I forgot things that I make a fucking list. And there are so many points in my life that I thought I wanna be that other guy. I'm gonna change myself. Now it's time to change. I wanna be more organized. I want to be more humble. I want to be more, um, I want to be soft. I want to be more this. I want to be more that. I want to be a CTO. I want to be this, but I tried so many times to change myself, but I can't because I think the nature of a person cannot be changed. You are who you are and you need to abuse the qualities you have and embrace. You need to embrace what you have. You need to embrace your own talent. You know what I mean? It's maybe a <laughs> weird story, but it is what it is. I'm trying to be honest because uh, I can imagine that I'm not the only one uh, struggling with, with some issues right now, with some personality issues that you think. I want to be more like him, but maybe... 10,000 people want to be more like you. Who knows? You know? A house where, if I may ask, in the country where I live in, Belgica, mesdames et messieurs. Mesdames et messieurs, Belgica. So your personality, you can never change that. Of course, uh, there's a different. People can change in a certain way, right? If you're, I mean, you change when you, when you get older. You're getting more reasonable and all that stuff but i mean the real true your true personality your your character you know what i mean your character your your you cannot change that and that's a, that's where relationships break because that's where that's why relationships are very hard because um in a relationship the first time you see somebody it can be it can be a a, a relationship um uh, with a girl or it can be a friendship or a relationship it doesn't matter it can be with a man it doesn't get everybody does what they do I don't discriminate everybody, anyone. Everybody has a mask on him, right? You are the best. You're going to be the best. I'm going to be the best Anthony. You're going to be the best James or the best Alice for a couple times, for a couple moments, for a couple days, for a couple weeks, maybe for a year. But at a certain point of time, these masks, these masks, they will fall off and the real personality will break through. And that's the point where relationships fall apart, right? Because, hey, that's not where I signed for, you fucking bitch. You know what I mean? Um, so it's very important that you always be yourself. Um, because by the end of the day, by the end of the day, they're going to see you take a shit on the toilet anyway. You know what I mean? It's inevitable, you know? You don't want to fart in the first two three months in a relationship, but after a year, she sits on your, on your fucking, on your fucking, uh, how do you say that? On your, she's standing in the same toilet where you are taking a fucking shit, talking about how the weekend is gonna go, you know what I mean? So it, just be yourself, that's important. In a job, everywhere, you know what I mean? Je parle un peu français, monsieur. 
programmeur incroyable. Merci beaucoup, Arthas. Parti des amis. I'm from Belgium and it's really obvious he's from Flanders. Yeah, man. I am, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm from Oost Flanderen. I'm from Flanders, my man. Born and raised. I feel our personality is like when creating characters on a game and you roll for the stats. The base stats are what they are, but they can be modified. That's true, Mike, see, Mike seeks truth as a very, very nice set. Uh, like I said, the nature, your true personality stays the same. But of course, like I said, I'm a very uh, unorganized person. I'm legit so unorganized, but in this new house, I'm trying to reprogram my brain a little bit and I try to um, stay more organized. And I need to force myself into that. I really, really need to force myself. Like for example, when I, I'm a beautiful shower and when I'm done with showering, I need to, I'm basically, you know, like cleaning all these walls and the lights and, and cleaning, I'm cleaning it up. I'm making it dry because otherwise you're gonna have these Kalak uh, aanslag on these on these shenanigans, you know what I mean? And I don't want that because that's nasty. Then I need to spray with anti cal and all that shenanigans. It's it's crazy and it burns, you know. So I'm trying to be more organized, but still I'm gonna be a nasty motherfucker anyway, you know. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, you are pretty close to SN. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. I'm actually on top of that to be honest. Um, next to it. Couple kilometers. <clears throat> you see, the world is small. You know what I mean. The world is small. There is some talent yet. <laughs> There's still some talent in Belgium. <clears throat> Change is tough. That's true. Um, that's true. Change is very tough. Scotland. Yeah, I know. Belgium. Damn, I would have guessed Scotland. It's true. I don't know what it is, but I have some kind of a dyslectic with start and where and there sounds scottish i don't know or irish it's it's i don't know what it is i just cannot reprogram myself in these things it's crazy it's like sometimes i i caught myself uh, pronouncing these 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 things so weird um it's crazy but it is what it is i don't actually care I, i'm uh, yeah as long as you guys can understand me it's fine right uh, sometimes I'll, I'll also talk too fast and too uh, yeah it's not easy to be like i said it's, it's very hard to if you stream and you need to like like right now i don't i don't see you there is nobody here i'm in a fucking empty room and i need to keep improvising and making sure that the dead the dead um how do you call that the, the dead parts are not there in the stream and you will never find one with me to be honest i'm trying to keep talking all the fucking time you know it's very important uh, why pre-order your Golang course instead of becoming a Patreon? Um, because, because on Patreon, like Patreon, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take take the things. Like I said, I'm 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 walking the talk. You know what I mean? I always walk the fucking talk. Can you see how much? Probably not. It doesn't matter, right? So on Patreon, can you guys see this by the way? On Patreon, we have a very, um, <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> you cannot see this, here, that's better. On Patreon, we have very um, in-depth things, right? For example, we have um, the busy weeks, yada, yada. For example, writing my own text editor in Odin. What you gonna learn? You know what I mean? It's not nothing. It's for people that want to see this. Uh, for example, a continuation of the LMAX implementation in Hollywood. Um, implementing the LMAX disruptor in Hollywood. That's very, very in-depth stuff. You know, it's, that's already for people that are already very familiar with some concepts, very familiar with Go, that can actually see me doing these things and get motivated by it and maybe learn something from it, right? That's on the Patreon. Uh, for example, we also have, uh, I have a lot of, a lot of stuff. Exploring Branca, an alternative for GBT. You see, this it's like very random stuff. Uh, I have much more. I have much more. I have, much, I have a lot of videos. Uh, also, the complete blockchain series is there, and that's what you get on the the full time Godev. Also, the full time Godev. In another hand, let me try to log in so you can see. And then and I'm gonna end the stream. Time for some proteins, by the way. This one is what I need. 
I'm enrolled. I'm enrolled. It's not completely done yet. That's why it's pre-ordered. But what's already there? Introduction to Golang. You see all these episodes? Then we have Mastering Concurrency, Code Channels, la, 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 Control Flow, Mutexes, Package Context, and then we have the Hotel Reservation. It's a more guided um, approach, right? We built this complete thing, Hotel Reservation backend, adding database layer, creating and validating users, DB scripts, Hotel API, listing rooms, GBT authentication, authentication users. It's being built organically by me. That basically means there is no script, and you're going to see, we're going to try to build this project and we make it better and we refactor as we go, as we proceed, as I proceed right now in these things. And every video is being tagged on GitHub. So that basically means in the private repository that you can basically check out any tag and you can be there and you can follow along on your own tempo, right? Um, so it's gonna be, and, and microservices, it's, it's, a, it's basically the program is meant for people that are willing to make a living from Go. Right? You want to make microservices, you want to build APIs, you want to do it in Golang, you want to be a Go engineer, this program will definitely make you one because I'm going to teach you everything I do. Right? Um, that's the difference. And it, it's probably going to get updated and the people that bought it, bought it forever. Right? You know what I mean? And they're going to get the updates. Right? Maybe you're going to add something. Maybe if people say, yeah, but I want to, the, the concurrency should have maybe a topic about this more. I will, I will add that topic and everybody will have it that bought it. Right? You know what I mean? It's not something I'm here to stay. I'm here to stay. You know? It's going to be a lot of hours. It's not, it's not your, your average course. It's not. It's me. That's already the USP. It's not your average program. It's completely different and it will be the only one in the world. Um, I'm quite impressed with the young man I just subscribed you. Hey man, thanks, 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 thanks. Like I said, it's you, it's the community that keeps me going. Like n to d GG, my YouTube channel, my Discord community, it's not me. You know what I mean? It's you. It's important, right? You know what I mean? Your engagement, that are the things that keeps me, that keeps me going. You know what I mean? Yeah, the, like I said, Terry is telling you, the LMAX Disruptor will get five views on YouTube. If I make the LMAX Disruptor video on YouTube, it has five views because nobody knows what's going on. You know what I mean? So I need to learn because this is a learning experience for me, all this YouTube stuff. I need to learn how the game is getting played. How is the game played? I was, I was, I was, I was basically stubborn by the fact that YouTube it actually doesn't make any money. You know what I mean? I thought, oh, thank you subscribers. Let's cash in. I don't even make, make $10 or something from ads. Not even make $10 on a month with 10K subscribers. Can you, can you imagine? So you need to play the game. That basically means you need to make content that people want to see. Nobody wants to see an LMAX, LMAX disruptor, so I make a Patreon page because I know a lot of my subscribers, they like the low-level content, so they can go to Patreon, right? And all that stuff. But I'm gonna do other languages also, right? Like I said, once Golang, once the Golang course is completed, you're gonna do Go, but I'm also going to uh, make more uh, these hipster programming. I, I need to track views, guys. Now I'm at 10K, I'm at 10K. Now it's time to go full cent. You know what I mean? Playtime is over. Life is no pony camp, you know what I mean? Right? It's done. It's time, it, 10K, now it's time to play with the big boys. You know what I mean? So I need to, Play the fucking YouTube game, and that's clickbaiting you into viewing my videos. <laughs> so we're gonna do some rest, you know what I mean? We're gonna do some rest stuff, um, and um, yeah, something like that. You know what I mean? These hipster things that tracks views. That's what the people want to see. That's what I need to do. The Netflix of coding, the Johnny Sins of Goland, canceled my date when I saw your tweet. Artas, what is up, my man? You know what's up. You know how it goes. Whew, man. Intense. Intense. I'm going to call it a day. Thanks, everyone, for watching this, uh, this stream. It was a very nice stream, I'm going to lie. And uh, I'm going to make this uh, reaction video on YouTube. <laughs> so we're going to see what's going on. Um, and, and if I need to, to continue... I'm, experimenting and we're gonna see if it's good it's good if it's bad then then we make another one uh, later this week right we're gonna react 
to something. All right, thanks everyone to be here. And um, wait, just one more question here. Do you know a professor named Professor Honor Mutlu? Honor Mutlu! <coughs> He's out of Zurich. He teaches computer architecture and Michael computer architecture from the ground up. I've been a student for four years. <coughs> What's going on here? Uh, professor Hun Honor Mutlu. No, I, know, I don't know him. I'm so sorry. This is basically too much. This is too much. This is too much uh, uh, high level stuff. Professors and everything. Like I said, I'm a simple man. You know what I mean? I'm a simple man. I don't know. But uh, I will look it up. Uh, Professor Honor Mutlu. I will do it. Uh, react on your own video. Yeah, maybe that. But that's a little bit. I don't know. That's a little bit. Sounds weird. You know what I mean? Sounds a little bit desperate. Uh, you die as a hero or live long enough to become a villain. Ooh, baby. That's a nice one. Okay, guys, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to call everybody you know to subscribe to my fucking channel. So we're going to hit 10K. I don't know what, what, I don't know how much my, my cell phone is upstairs. I don't know. Uh, so we can basically crush the 10K, go to 20K, 30K, 40K, 50K. So we can get this basically... Uh, how we call it? This this silver this silver YouTube thing. How do we get that? The silver thing. Is it one 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 hundred K subscribers? One hundred K for the silver thing, the silver button? I want a button! I don't care what color it is, but I want a button and I will get it. You know what I mean? That's what I is that's what I visualize in my head. It's already here. It's already written inside of my fucking brain. And that's the only thing that needs to that, that needs to happen in my life. If I can see it here, it will happen. Sooner or later.